Hey everybody, it's Kevin the Backyard Hiker. Here for the April challenge of bushcraft. See how long it takes me to get to my destination if I can. I did a little recon earlier in the week. Everything has changed. Alright, I'll see you when I get to a location. Good news for me. Uh, the place that I wanted to get to, I can't get to. It's flooded out and since the day I reconned it, trees, more trees have fallen. But I'm in a decent area. Uh, there we go. Uh, I can probably find me a new spot. I'm going to go take a, take a little adventure. I've been looking around for a few. Hot, sweaty. I think I found a spot for my bushcraft challenge. What do you think? Yeah. My gear right there. Got some work I got to do. But I'll let you see it as I go. Alright, peace. <laughs> Right, the Stealth Camping Alliance Bushcraft Challenge sent in by Steve the Transit Camper. This is my shelter for tonight. I put sticks on the logs that were sitting here and then I broke down these old broke down trees as a second layer after I put branches on top of that to close up all the holes I took the rest here and now I covered with leaves I'm not gonna lie it is a tight squeeze all right stuff camping alliance oh. April challenge bushcraft Probably could have done something a little bit simpler. I just wanted to test test myself out. Who knows, maybe I can sleep in there better than uh, anywhere else. Got my beverage on hand. Ooh. It's a little chilly out here. Inside, inside there, it was actually nice and warm. Blocked all that wind for me. Keeps all my body heat. And uh, got another bushcraft. Hold on. All right, so I'm gonna make a little lantern slash heater using this can and a uh, f uh, fuel for a chafing dish. I had to get some sticks, I had to set them out in a triangle form. Now what I have to do is I have to create some vent holes in this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put them in on the sides at least three or four. So let's see how this works shall we? I don't know how well this works but let's see. One slice in it. See if I can go go from here. Let's say about 90 degrees over here, and just sorry, it's gonna be off camera. Work that in. So I have another slice right here. I know lighting is getting a little dim go 90 degrees put another one in wow I'm just denting this thing all up and one more right here 
All right. Now, I've got my vent holes, I presume. Yeah, I'm not going to even try and push them back out. I'm going to leave them as is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the wick, set this on top of the sticks, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I already took the wick, took the top off the wick. Whoop. Uh oh, hey, what's up? I'm gonna place this, top of the sticks, like so. Hopefully it, don't fall, it doesn't fall too much. There we go. Take my lighter. I think it worked. Hold on. Show it this way. There we go. It's lit. I'll come back to you once I figure out how well it worked. Well, I got it lit. It got hot real quick on top. It's, it's warm to the touch. It's smoking a little bit too because of uh, it's got some burn off on the inside from the coating. I've seen it done with uh, terracotta um, pots and terracotta pots, sticks, and... Um, uh, an emergency candle. So I figured I'd try it this way. All right. I'm probably going to eat something. I'm getting a little famished. I didn't eat too much today. So uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch me make a meal. All right. I'll check back in in a little while. All right, everybody. Quick check in because uh, my batteries or my memory is about to go. Uh, it's actually not too terribly bad in here. Tight? Yes, of course. Um, I think I'm going to just try and lie here and possibly go to actually go to sleep. No sleeping bag. Uh, well, I do, but I'm using it as a pillow. I've got a blanket, my pad, and that's about it. Alright, see you guys in the morning. Hey, y'all. Checking in. Well, technically I'm checking out. It's like 11 o'clock. My stomach feels like crap for some reason. Well, this is definitely a fail. I will be out to do to another one. Alright. Peace. South Camping Alliance. The next day. Alright. So it's day two. Um, next morning. Things went wrong yesterday. Um... I did a um, recon of the place that I, spot that I wanted to go. Looked promising. I actually, yesterday went out there, or headed out there, and it was flooded, and there were more trees down from when I did the recon. So blocked my path, couldn't get to it. Found another spot, looked decent, started building, no dice. Uh... Then found another look spot, little spot, as you can tell. That one really looked promising. The only thing was is that by the time I had everything put together, I had no room to move. Structure was solid. Um, I'm going to go back out there in the next couple of days. I want to take a peek at it and see what it looks like, see if I can find it, which I'm probably going to be able to. Anyway, um, so... Uh, do me a favor, uh, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to get notifications of when my videos pop. Uh, Steve the Transit Camper, you know, I like this one. It actually got my gears thinking, got my gears moving of things that I've seen on 
bushcraft. Uh, I will be back out to do another one. That video may be out a little bit late, but hey, I don't know. Due to scheduling with work. A few shout outs that I want to give to are Adventures with Grumpy Jim. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, what's that guy doing? Uh, I've seen a couple of his. They're not bad, not bad at all. Movement Drifter. Uh, and the Buzz Brothers Outdoor Adventures. Check these guys out. Uh, I know Mo Movement Drifter is already with the Stealth Camping Alliance. Hey, you know, let's keep this going. Let's keep it moving. I got to keep adding to my list because we get new people every day. So, all right. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.